In a world where technology is changing at a speed that has never been seen before, Tesla's work in AI robotics is at the forefront, pointing the way towards new ideas that could completely change our lives. From the busy floors of Tesla's factories to the quiet intensity of cutting-edge research labs, we'll see how the dream of a robot-assisted future may shape or challenge our reality. Two years ago, an unexpected chain of events led to a robot attacking a worker at Tesla's Austin plant, leaving them hurt and bleeding on the floor of a building. Tesla's huge plant in Giga, Texas is a key part of its ambitious plan to make an electric car for less than $25,000. This is the latest in a string of troubling events at the site. This event shows how hard it is for manufacturers as automation grows. It also brings to light a worrying trend in American companies. A story from tech news site The Information says that in 2021, a developer working on three different robots left one of them turned on by accident. This carelessness let the active robot catch the engineer and use its artificial limbs to stab him, cutting his arm and back and making him lose blood. Another worker quickly set off an emergency stop, which let the hurt worker get away, though he left a bloody trail behind him as he fell down a scrap metal slide. Tesla has decided to keep quiet about this terrible event. It's also still not clear what the government safety officials will do. According to Tesla, the laceration, cut, or open wound that the victim got was caused by the robot. In contrast, OSHA only did a quick check of the Austin Tesla plant once a year in 2021 and 2022. This doesn't happen nearly as often at Tesla's Fremont, California plant. During the same time period, nine safety checks were done each year, and four have been done so far in 2023. The most recent review of the Austin plant happened after a subcontractor got hurt from the extreme heat. A look at government records by the information shows that workers at the Austin Tesla plant were in a lot more danger than those at other similar companies. In 2017, virtually 1 in 21 workers at the Austin company got hurt on the job. A huge number of accidents to workers have been reported. Meanwhile, every year, one out of every 30 car factories, 250 or more workers gets hurt. Unbelievably, one out of every 12 workers at Tesla's Fremont plant got hurt last year. There needs to be a better look at how automation and robots work in the workplace, because the number of injuries is going up, which is a major safety concern. Isaac Asimov's first law of robotics says that robots must never hurt people. This is a key idea in science fiction. The thing that happened at Tesla's plant in Austin in 2021 goes against this idea straight away. This principle's breaking is just one example of many that happen when it comes to worker safety in the age of technology. A study released earlier this year by the CDC shed light on one of the darker aspects of technology in the workplace. Over the course of 15 years, 41 American workers were killed by robots while doing upkeep work. There are many risks that could happen as robots become more common in the workplace, and this number is a sobering warning of them. The paper also says that more of these kind of deaths will happen because more standard industrial robots are being used and because newer technologies like autonomous vehicles, powered exoskeletons, and collaborative robots are coming out. As automation spreads, the Center for Occupational Robotics Research at the CDC backs up this prediction by stressing the need for more safety standards and education. We are moving toward technology because of a number of factors. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has been very vocal about his desire for a plant that could run itself, like an alien dreadnought that doesn't need any workers. More and more, employers in a wide range of industries are looking to automation to make more money. This is happening because of both the appeal of new technologies and economic pressures like rising prices for labor and inflation. A report from Reuters says that last year was a turning point in the history of the American workplace as a whole. At a rate that had never been seen before, companies in that country began using robots in their work at an incredible rate. A humanoid robot is one of these new ideas. GXO Logistics has been using it out of a plant in Georgia. 
According to Bloomberg, the robot will cost $10 to $12 an hour to run because it can move boxes and put goods on moving belts. But there's a lot more to the story of robots at work than meets the eye. There have been different kinds of studies on how robots affect the workplace. Researchers at the Brookings Institution say that robots can make it less likely for humans to get hurt while doing dangerous or repetitive tasks like cleaning up chemical spills, heavy lifting, or drilling underground. On the other hand, big robots that can't tell when people are nearby could lead to new types of danger. More proof of how complicated this is comes from looking at the accident rates of workers at different companies that use robots a lot. Amazon's 800,000 warehouse workers got hurt more often than Walmart's 60,000 workers did by the end of 2021. According to Maureen Lynch Vogel, an Amazon spokesperson, reports that Amazon is much less safe than other stores are not true. This finding, which was reported by the Washington Post, is very different. Vogel said that Amazon's lost time incident rate is now much lower than the industry average. This shows that the company has worked hard to cut accidents that require time off work by 69% since 2019. On the other hand, an article from the independent news site Reveal counters this claim by saying that, ironically, putting robots in Amazon's warehouses has made the workplace safer. The paper says that this is because robots are much more productive than people, which means that much higher output goals can be met. Reveal says that Amazon uses the efficiency of robots to push output goals past what humans can handle. This forces humans to work faster, which can lead to more injuries. Vogel disagreed with Reveal's conclusions and said that the story gave a false and misleading picture of how people work in Amazon. She also used numbers to show that Reveal's claim was false. In 2022, facilities that used robots had a lower injury rate than those that didn't. More and more robots are being used in the workplace, as seen in the use of AI and robotics in big companies like Amazon and Tesla. This has led to a discussion about the bigger effects of AI on the future of mankind. Concerns about workplace safety and the loss of jobs are common right now, but the conversation always gets to a bigger question. Will AI wipe humans off the face of the Earth? More accidents happen at Tesla's Austin plant and Amazon's warehouses because of the push for automation, which makes this topic more difficult to understand. These cases, which are an important part of combining AI and robotics, show the moral and safety issues that come up when using robots that are more efficient than humans but may not be better at empathy or judgment. The efficiency of robots, which is great for output, brings new risks to workers who aren't properly protected. The biggest existential threat that AI poses to people depends on the chance that AI systems can grow too fast for us to control. With the progress in AI, there are more and more autonomous systems that can act in unpredictable or even anti-human ways. We can't ignore this rising threat. It's not just a worry for the short term, this is a real long-term effect of AI development going forward without strong safety and ethics rules. When talking about automation in the workplace, it can be hard to balance the pros of AI and robots, like making things more efficient and freeing people from dangerous and boring tasks, against the risks these technologies may pose to individuals and to society as a whole. The situations at Tesla and Amazon show one of the bigger ethical questions about AI. How can we use these technologies to our benefit without letting them set the stage for situations where AI could directly or indirectly hurt a lot more people? So that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.